The Honeydew with Ryan Sickler. And she's like, how you get to the airport? And I go, I have no fucking idea. So she goes, I'll give you a ride. We stayed up all night. And then at the end of the night, I'll never forget this. She goes, do you have any money? And I go, yeah, I got 20 bucks and a couple of cigarettes. And she goes, take my cigarettes and take my 40 bucks. She had made like 50 bucks the night before at the comedy store as a waitress. And she goes, take that money. I had never taken money from a woman before. Like, that's not even in my realm. You know what I'm saying? I'll rob a bitch. <laughs> but to take money, you know, I'll rob, I robbed a couple bitches in my day. I robbed a chick once. I met at the comedy store. I was eating a pussy. And I'm trying to take the money out of her pocket. And she fucking, <laughs> when she picked me up, and I didn't pick her up at the comedy store. I picked her up at the Laugh Factory. She got thrown out of Laugh Factory because she was heckling comics. So when I got when I was leaving, she comes up to me. She's like, were your feelings hurt? I go, no, nah, I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> yeah. you know? And we start talking. She's pretty cute. And she goes, do you want to go get a drink? And I'm like, yeah, let's go get a cocktail somewhere. We didn't find, I didn't know any bars. You know, I'm not a drinker, so I didn't know any bars. So I said, let's just go to a liquor store. Oh, my God, Ryan Sickler. When we went to the <laughs> liquor store, she bought a bottle of vodka. When she went in her purse, she took out a fucking gangster roll. Like that, hundreds. That gas station people. wad cash. And I'm yeah. like, dog, this bitch is going down, right? <laughs> I, I had like a gram of Coke, maybe a little less. I'm doing lines with it. I'm looking at that wad. I'm like, ah. Uh, I already called Dante. I'm like, dog, I got a pigeon. What time he closed? He's like, one. I'll be there before one. This chick was staying at a Japanese restaurant at a Japanese hotel downtown. She was working for a computer firm, and they put her up for a seminar. So she goes, if you want, we can go back to my hotel and finish off that Coke and shit. So we get back to the hotel. We're finished. We do a couple lines, you know. She goes, let me slip into something more comfortable, whatever the fuck like, I, I, I don't even know. She put, like, a top on. That's what it was. Because she had on, like, a tight thing with fucking, with her tits popping out. So she put on, like, a bed thing. But she had her jeans on and her shoes. And we start swapping spit. And she stops. And she goes, I have a boyfriend. Ah, I'm going to be so good. I'm like petting her. It's like when you do a virgin Catholic girl on the walk home, you got to pet that back. They're crying. Like, ah, I'm, I'm going to go to hell now. No, you're not. <laughs> you pet. I'm going to purgatory. <laughs> So this uh, chick, fucking times we're swapping spit. We're not even doing nothing heavy. Uh, and she would break away and go, I got a boyfriend. I feel so guilty. I'm like, listen, where's your boyfriend? He's like in Seattle. So fuck, don't worry about it. What's your man got to do with me? I got a man. That's right. I'm not going to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember that okay. song. So one thing leads to another. Finally, I tell her, listen, I want to lick your fucking monkey. And she can't. <laughs> She can't take it, so I take her little jeans off, and I'm watching that bulge. But what she did, what she did to me was that she took the gangster roll, she took the singles from the middle, and she put the singles on top. Now that made the gangster roll a Jewish roll. So I'm eating a pussy, and I'm trying to pickpocket, right? And I'm taking out singles. I'm like, what the fuck? And her pussy had sweat to it, so it smelled kind of weird. It was like a fear factor type of fucking fear factor. <laughs> I'm eating this tzatziki pussy. It tastes like that. The gyro sauce. It's got that little Greek smell to it. I'm eating the pussy. I close my nose without the fingers. Like I'm trying to like not cheat. Digging in her asshole with my tongue. But the whole time I'm trying to pickpocket her. Oh, Ten minutes to get back to the episode. I finally got her for 200. I popped my head up. Put a quarter in the meter. This is the funniest story ever. I fucking get in that car and I shoot to Dante's house, the drug dealer. It's five to one. I just made it. I go in. I go, here's 200. Give me 200 worth of coke. He goes, you owe me 50 from the other night. No worries. And all of a sudden he looks at me and goes, you smell funny. <laughs> and I go, yeah. I was eating some old Greek pussy. It smelled like something out of Jimmy's seafood. <laughs> it smelled like a clock of Jimmy's seafood. But I ate it. But I popped out of there like a savage. The next day, I had some canker sauce and shit. <laughs> I lived, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. If you eat pussy and you get a canker sore, that's not good pussy. But every once in a while, you get a batch of bad pussy. It's like a bad tomato. It's like a bad tomato, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
So did you go back? Did you go back or are you out of there? No. Okay. Goes back. Right. <laughs> I want to make sure. He was really cute. I think she was a vegan. Vegan chicks that pussy smell. Because women need meat. When they don't oh. eat meat, pussy has wang in the deep. Wang. Deep in the middle. Deep, deep in the middle. When you finger it before the flies come out, it's got that little wang in there. I'm going to get sick. Oh, is, man. Is there a girl in your You have like a girl intern right now? Oh, my producer, she's cur- oh, yeah. cursed she's it over going, I didn't know. I didn't know flies came out. Yeah, you're not looking. Oh, fucking moaning and groaning. Bats are coming out. Flies, Bats. liquids. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. Well, I came 